Tonight, Channel 2 investigates is digging deeper into an apartment complex plagued by hundreds of violent crimes. The latest, a deadly double shooting just this past weekend from murder to gangs to drugs. Neighbors are living in fear at the Haverstock Hill Apartments on Aldi Mender Road. Investigator Joel Eisenbaum with its troubled history and how deputies are trying to clean up the crime there. Joel. Lauren, I'll tell you what, it's not just deputies who recognize there's a pretty big problem out here at Haverstock Hills Apartments. There's been a protest going outside the front gate now, including residents for the last few hours. And the beef they have seems to be fairly legitimate. There's a guard shack that's right here over to my right, and it has been empty, I'm told, for months and months, while the front gate remains wide open at all hours. It's, it's high crime gang infested, drug infested. Near 59 in Aldine Bender in North Harris County, there's an apartment complex teeming with kids that's so troubled, so dangerous, so often the scene of violent crime. The Harris County Sheriff's Office has a permanent storefront inside the property. And after hours, deputies don't go it alone. Two or three units will show up so that one man unit wouldn't be by himself. In the event something should happen. And the county attorney has even sued individual gang members to keep them out. But even with all of these extraordinary measures, we want to know who you are. We want to know what at Haverstock Hills, they're losing the war. We need 24 hour round the clock security for this place. The latest a double murder here on Sunday. A total of six people shot, and Channel 2 Investigates has discovered during a recent 17-month period, cops were called out a staggering 476 times to the Haverstock Hills apartments. In January 2016, a teenager was shot and killed in the parking lot. In June 2016, a large brawl shooting and murder. The next month, another shooting. Gangs, drugs, homicide at Haverstock Hills. It's been commonplace for years, and there's no sign that's changing. Seems like you could solve a lot of problems by locking that front gate. I definitely understand, but at this moment, I'm not able to speak. Local leasing office not at all responsive to our questions. A call to the corporate office has not yielded a call back. Tomorrow, a more formal protest is scheduled at 7 o'clock. I'm told Quan L. X will be here. We're now live on the northeast side of town. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News.